Between us and the City of Angels lay 400 miles of freeway, and we'd only have each other for company for the whole distance. Well, each other, and a pair of very promising smartphones that we'd brought along to test, prod and poke to our heart's content on the long drive. First up, the Nokia Lumia 800. Really interesting, if only because it's Nokia's sort of re-entry into the market. Straight away, I love the thumb touch tiles that, that constitute the, the main menu. What you get is a really simple instant hit of what's going on. So for example, I just touch the people tile and instantly I can see who's saying what on Twitter, um, text messages. There are also tiles for your music, Nokia Drive maps and even Xbox Live. But with Polly and I gagging for some lunch, help was on hand via a pre-installed tile called Local Scout. It uses location-specific services to offer you information about the world around you. Garlic World. There's actually a Garlic World. OK, the website's come up. Welcome to Garlic World in Gilroy. Garlic capital of the world. I didn't know that. No, I had no idea. So that's good. So Local Scout is actually working. It's giving us information about a location that I, I would not have been aware of. How good's the screen? The screen is absolutely beautiful. Uh, 3.7 inches. It's AMOLED, so you get a better refresh rate, but you also consume less energy, which in a device like this really is really important. Handy, yeah. yeah, it's really good. This was particularly useful when using Local Scout's inbuilt 3D map functionality to find Garlic World. Oh, Jace! Oh, there it is. Fantastic. It was here that I put the Lumia's 8 megapixel camera through its paces. Oh, can you smell that? A really good example of the Lumia's ability to take a super quick picture was when we arrived at Garlic World, one of the guys opened up the sort of smoke pot, pulled out a piece of beef and Polly grabbed it and I took a picture. And that happened in real time, it was in motion, but the picture's really clear. It beautifully captures the moment. And yes, the food tasted just as good as the photos made it look. <laughs> this is sensory overload. I can tell. <laughs> good, that was a good one. That's great. It's a good little camera. Responds really, really quickly, mm. which is really important to me. Full of garlic laden meat and happy with my haul of crisp 8 megapixel photos, next I wanted to test the Lumia's video functionality and I had a cunning roadside plan. He said, let's try and get one of the truckers to honk the horn. <laughs> We've got a honk! <laughs> Brilliant! The Lumia records in 720p HD resolution, and the videos produced not only had a lovely depth of colour, but also handled the sound really well. <laughs> <laughs> three truckers in a row, all honking the horn, three videos, all fantastic. Does that look great? Yeah, you can kind of see your hair colour. Your skin the shirt, tone's right. The, yeah. The, the white, I mean, everything's in focus. The sound is really good. It's great. It's a really nice little package, and I'd like to hang on to it if I possibly can do. With Jason's Nokia testing complete, we swapped the seats in the car and I pulled out the new Sony Xperia S. It's quite a powerful machine. It's a 1.5 gigahertz dual-core processor. You're looking at 1 gig of RAM and 32 gig internal memory. For a smartphone, I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of power under the bonnet, isn't it? Desperate to find a cure for a severe post-lunch garlic breath, I put out a plea on Twitter, then began scouring the internet on the Xperia's 4.3-inch capacitive touchscreen. The keyboard was superb. There was no issues with it for me whatsoever. It was very intuitive, very responsive. Plus, thanks to a staggeringly high pixel density of 342 pixels per inch, the clarity of colours and text, even when zoomed right in, is impeccable. It was just a shame that the garlic-ridding remedies I received weren't much cop. Suck on a lemon. Yeah, yeah, like I'm going to suck on a lemon. Look, chew on an onion. Resigned to forever smelling of garlic, I switched my attention to the Sony's feature-rich camera. This has got a 12-megapixel camera yep. and it has Exmor R CMOS sensor technology. Plus, it has a remarkable quick launch feature that allows you to unlock your phone and take a picture in under a second, which was perfect for some quick-fire scenery snapping. I think the picture of the journey, though, was Polly's panoramic shot of the mountains and the lake. The Xperia S has a sweet panorama mode, which I opened up and used to pan across the breathtaking scenery, producing a beautiful 180-degree image. Oh, Polly, yes! That is incredible. Look at the definition between the edge of the clouds and the blue of the sky, and the saturation of the colours is incredible. With daylight slipping away, Jason and I sped off in search of something to film using the Xperia S. And amazingly, within a matter of minutes, Jason spotted just the thing. We were bombing down the motorway, we really were giving it some, and I saw this airstream and literally slammed the brakes on. 
Can you see it there? Oh, cool! That's one of my favourite, favourite vehicles. Yeah. So excited was Jason to see the Airstream trailer that he hauled himself over two barbed wire fences, grabbed the Xperia S and began filming his undercover operation. Look at what we found in the middle of nowhere in a field in California, an Airstream. It looks like a proper retro vintage one. Unlike the Lumia 800, the Xperia S records video in full 1080p resolution, rendering detailed, high contrast imagery with very good sound. I love the weathered effect of the aluminium, where it's been battered by the sun and the wind out here. However, the auto-focusing was noticeably slow at times. Conscious we still had a long drive ahead of us, I set off back to Polly, but there was a big problem. Oh, no. I'm boxed in! The pool's there! <laughs> oh, no! And his calf ran off, which said to me, it means it's going down, you know? Oh, no, he's doing the thing with his feet that they do when they want to get you! I've never seen Jace run so fast. He was over the fence in seconds, all ready to give our phones G ratings. Nokia's Lumia 800 gets four Gs thanks to a glorious touch-tile menu, fast-focusing 8-megapixel camera and colour-rich video. And it's four Gs for the Xperia S on account of its crisp, pixel-dense screen, great 12-megapixel camera and full 1080p HD video functionality. And that all goes to prove that in the world of smartphones, there are now some very serious and very attractive alternatives to the previously all-conquering iPhone.